Alright, get yourself down, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the ball. And you can do a sit up, throw it back at me. Right, so we're just so gonna run through every one of them and then we'll go through where the actual circuit is. Legs right. up? Yep, exactly like that. So I'm gonna throw this at you. You're gonna catch it. As you sit up, you're gonna sit up and throw it at the same time. That's it. And then catch it and go down. Perfect. Exactly like that. Let's just do 10. Then we'll move on to the next one. So the circuit itself is 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. I just want to blast through it, get you used to it, also get some good recording in, and then we can put some music on, mate, and just enjoy it. Nice. Perfect. Okay, after that, let's have a butcher's. I'm sure it's Russian twists. It is. Yeah, Russian twists, mate. So, seated. Yeah, seated in Russian twists. So. Make sure you like, lift your body up and then either side of your body. Perfect. The ground. Perfect. Just like that. Just give me 10. So that's two. Nice. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Perfect. Passes that. Beat long back. So stretch out. Arms out. Legs out. Nice and straight above your head. Arms above your head. Okay, opposite arm is going to come to the middle with the opposite leg touching in the middle. So, that's it. Perfect. And then the other side. Try your hardest to keep the other arm straight, okay? So, that's it. Perfect. That's what I want. That's one. Nice. Give me ten, okay? That's it. That's two. Nice. Nice. That's three. Perfect. That's four. Keep going. That's perfect. Coordination, isn't it? It is coordination. So we're working on that cross-hatch of the body. Um, so your arms get a lot stronger. The way it works is you've got to keep the other limbs stretched out. Otherwise, it's like just flopping your arms around. Perfect. Then heel or toe touches. So in that kind of uh, laid down position, um, legs at the right angle, so put your heels as close to your butt. That's it. You just want to make sure your shoulder blades off the ground. You're going to bend either side and just touch one heel or toe and then touch the other side. That's it. Just give me ten So either heels or toes, however far you can touch. Nice. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, last one is V-hold. We struggled with this last time, okay? So, you're going to put your arms up in the air, legs up in the air. Okay, I need your back to be off of the ground, okay? Arms up in the air, legs up in the air, get those arms out of the way. Okay, come back down. Rocky, bed. Okay, bed. Arms up in the air, legs up in the air. That's it. I'm going to drop this on your abs. That's it, just like that. Okay, so that's what this one's going to do. Perfect. Okay. Right, let's set a timer and let's run through it. Happy with all those? Sweet, there's your ball. I'm going to start with the sit ups. Perfect, mate. And four. Nice, heel or toe. So you don't need to run into it, stay still, where you are, okay, pivot, bang, and then back, okay, so no stepping around, stay where you are, that's it, nice, two, three, four, keep that guard up, five, six, 
six. Good. Turn that foot. Seven. That's better. Eight. Nine. Perfect. Ten. Absolutely lovely. Right, let's go. Middle. One. Nice. Two. Three. Turn that foot. Four. That's it. Five. That's it. Six. Seven. That's better. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, the only thing that's changed on there is as you kick, you're now putting this foot behind the other foot. You want to be still landing here in your fighting stance, okay? So you kick, and then you land back there. You kick, and then you land back there. I was landing too. You were landing like this. Right. Which is fine for the kick, but you're so off balance, okay? Right, we're going to go higher, mate. Higher and higher. Let's go for it, man. Step forward, okay? Your legs aren't that long, trust me. Okay. Nice, one. Two. Three. You okay? Yeah. Four. Nice and high. Five. Six. So we're not quite hitting head height, as you can see. But we're not far off chest. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Perfect. Let's swap legs, okay? That was really good. Really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. We're, we're not going to aim for head yet. All I want to do is I want to aim for here, here, okay, and, and the guard part. So kind of hitting the arm, hitting the guard. At the moment, I do want to get to head, but I feel that the range of motion is not there yet. So that's absolutely fine. All of those are really good areas. So like if you get yourself in a stance, and you know I'm not going to kick here, get yourself in a stance. If I was to pivot and go there, bang, that's a dead leg. If I was, to, if you was to say, for instance, I'm going to go for a jab, um, as you go for a jab slowly, so with the, the, the jabbing hand. Okay, if I go like that, bang, you know, that's quite good. Okay, so if you were say for instance, go for a hook with that hand, as you go for it, if I go like that, bam, and knock across there, you're gonna turn into it. I'm gonna either give a dead arm, or I'm gonna knock through the chest, or again, if you've got your guard up, so keep your guard up, and I actually kick the guard, your guard's just gonna fall. Okay, so they're all beneficial. A lot of people are like, I wanna kick the head, I wanna kick the head. Kicking the head's great, but I've had more fun kicking lower, to be honest with you. Right, let's go again. This is going to be the difficult time, okay? Step forward, your legs aren't that long, okay? Swap your stance. Oh, okay, I'll three even pivot this side. Swap your stance. Swap your stance. That's it. Okay, make sure it's around, not forward. That's it. That's better. You don't need to move that front foot, just pivot it. That's it. One, nice. Two, don't toe peg it. Point those toes. No, no that's, that's a toe. Right. So you're going to be like this. Okay? So I don't want to feel your toe. I want to feel the top of the foot. Okay? Okay, that's all toe. So, what I want you to do is as you're kicking, point that toe down like that. So when you're kicking, just get yourself in a stance. I'll do slowly, you can see. You're kicking, and watch there. So I'm not kicking with the toe. I'm kicking with the upper part of the leg and the top of the foot. Okay? Let's go. A little bit better. That's a two. That's better. There's one. Two. That's better. Three. It's more powerful as well. So that's a two. Four. Five. Make sure you're going around, not forward. That's better. That's better. And ten. Perfect. We'll go a bit higher. Make sure you go around or you're not going to hit that height. Okay? So turn your body. Turn that foot. That's going to turn the body. Go for it, same again. Nice, one, two, three, no toe, three, four, that's better, five, watch that guard, six, that's it, seven, turn that foot, eight, that's better, nine, ten, perfect. We are going to go higher, okay? Last 10. It's about chest high. One foot in front of the other, step forward, your legs aren't that long. Okay, I want you to stand here, okay? If you're trying to go forward, you need to go around, okay? I should be stood there, okay? You don't need to move, keep that foot where it is. That's better. Pivot. And that's it, turn that foot. That's better, one. 
two, higher. Three, four, five, higher. Five, six, seven, that's good. Eight, nine, turn that foot. Ten, beautiful. Take a breather. Try it quite low. So you're going to kick there. Step forward a little bit. Okay, kick there. That's it. Nice and slow. That's it. And then switch. That's it. And then kick. Nice. Switch. Sit and kick. Switch. That's it. And then kick. Perfect. So with that switch kick, you want to be going roundhouse. Bang. Land. Switch is this. Okay. Then you want to be going bang. And as you do it, switch. Okay. Bang. As soon as it lands, switch. Okay. So it's almost like a bounce pivot. We've done switches before with the stance factor. It's exactly the same. Okay. Right, guard up the entire time. Okay. So kick. You don't need to kick it hard. We'll focus on the footwork more than anything. That's it. Switch. Nice. Switch. Nice. Nice. Switch. Switch. <laughs> You're missing a bit. Step forward, step forward. Okay, go for it. Okay. Nice. Land first, then switch. Okay, so go back to that stance. Do a kick. Land. Nope. Do a kick. And just land the kick. Okay, land the kick. Now switch. Okay. So kick. Land the kick. Then switch. Perfect. Now the reason for that is... Go for the kick, control it. If you can't control it, don't throw it. Just control it on there, so really slow, nice, nice, just tap it. Okay, and then you go back to your normal stance. Because if I draw over another one, you're in your normal stance. Okay, if you kick and switch at the same time, it's not gonna work. Now nice and slowly, go for the kick. Okay, so as you go for it, bang, land it. I go for the kick, you might take that. Now switch, so switch, that's it. And then you might go for the kick on the inside of my leg. Okay, which is not a nice place to get hit. Okay, so go for it again, keep your guard up. So nice and controlled. That's it, boom, land. Okay, I go for the kick, nice. And then you go for it. Do you see how the benefit was? Okay, so make sure you land. Because if I hit you, you need to have your feet on the ground. The last thing you want to do is go kick, and then switch there. Because that one second that you're like that, you're completely off guard. You want to be going kick, bang, land, then switch. Okay, let's go for it. Start this side. Kick. Switch. Perfect. Kick. <laughs> right. Kick. Kick. Then switch. That's it. Kick. That's it. Then oh, switch. <laughs> That's it. Kick. Then switch. That's it. Kick. Then switch. That's it. Kick. Then switch. Perfect. Nice. Then switch. Nice. Okay, take a breather. We're going to drill that. That looks a lot nicer. Okay, just think about it as two parts. Kick. I've landed my kick. Now I'm doing the switch. Okay? It's not a kick and then mid-air. You, you land in there because you're in a different position. We will go through that. So there will come a time where you'll kick someone. Bang! And they won't move. They'll be like a tree trunk. And they'll just take it. Normally someone bigger than you. Normally someone stronger than you. You're a big guy, so it's probably going to be someone just stronger than you in the leg department. So say for instance you come to kick me, okay, you go to kick and I just don't move. I go like that, bang, okay, what do you do? You can go back there, or you can step through. So keep your guard, I'm not going to hurt you, so I might go for a kick, bang, you take it, I'll stand there. Okay? You know, I'm actually on the inside of you. But, in this instance, I'm going to kick you, bang, I'm going to switch, kick you. Bang. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. Right, let's take a breather and let's rinse and repeat. It's a round motion. It's a round kick, 
and the switch is a round motion. You're like a pivot. Okay, you're, you're going like this. Do, do, do. Okay, you're going to do. That's it. Perfect. So the legs aren't swapping, you're pivoting around for the switch. You're doing it really, really well. Really, really well. Let's go again. Nice and switch. Perfect. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Mate, you've nailed it. That was lovely. We just needed to draw back the power, take the emphasis out of the impact, and more on the footwork. You can hit things hard, there's no doubt about it. But if you hit things hard and you're unstable, someone I, I would rather take one hit that's hard and flatten you than take ten hits that are not hard, but I can't actually take you down because you're always stable. That was brilliant, absolutely brilliant.